everyone, it's me Shaka Noor and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be telling you guys how to make an aesthetic house in Toko World. So as you guys can see here, this is what you should not do. So you should not put a bunch of random patterns and colors all over your house and like just don't put items that simply don't match the house. Like why are you putting two sinks down Nora? And why is one green and one pink? Like, at least make them match. And it's just like adding random things that don't make sense is something that you should definitely not do when you're building your Toka house at all, okay? Make sure that you always have a plan of what you want it to look like. Okay, so what you should do instead is make sure you have a plan of what style you want your house to be. I usually make my houses aesthetic and tropical looking. So for here, for this room, I'm doing a bedroom. And I always use this like wood pattern and same for the walls. I always use the same thing throughout the house. I never really change it up just because I like everything to match and make sense. Um, so as you guys can see here, I'm doing like a teen bedroom. So I made it a little bit trendy. I added this really cute little vanity thing. And as you can see, it still kind of matches. And even if you use items from different packs, you can still make it look good. Just don't add too many random things, you know? Because then it's just going to look weird. Um, but I love to do this little basket hack where I put in like a bunch of flowers in the basket. I think it looks so pretty. And what else do I like to do? Oh, and I like to put up custom paintings, but we'll do that later. I don't have time for that right now. I'm just trying to show y'all an example of what you should do when you build. And yeah, so if this is kind of what you like, then try and follow this little tutorial here. Okay, so first things first is basics. So I like to start with the wood pattern there. And for the walls, I, I mean for the grass, I like to use the green grass. And then for all the walls, I like to use the white paneling because it makes sense and it looks good in my opinion. It's just simple. Okay, so step number two is going to be adding basic items to your house. So if you want your house to look aesthetic, I recommend not putting too many items. I just think that if you have too many items, it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look like you live in, I don't know, like a hoarder's house. So I would recommend just having a few items. But you know, everyone's style is different. And if you like to have a lot of clutter in your house, then that's fine. I'm just saying like, don't put too much where your house could like reset and it looks crazy. Um, but I usually just go for a simple style. I don't like to add too much to my house, especially because Toka houses tend to reset so much. So if you put a lot of stuff in your house, like off the bat, like that is so risky. And then you have to rebuild all of it. Like I just, I don't want to put myself through that. Step three is optional, but you should make paintings from the activity house because it adds a lot to your homes. Like look how pretty that little aura painting looks now that I added it to the house. It looks so cute. And I usually just make aura paintings. I don't really make different paintings. Just because it looks really pretty and aesthetic. And it's just like my style, you know? Like, I feel like it fits my style a lot. But as you guys can see, like, for me, basic items are just things that you can get from build mode. But I feel like extra items like decoration, you have to go collect from around the world, in my opinion. So, yeah. That's what I mean by basic items, if y'all were wondering. Okay, so as you guys can see, I actually decided to add another ori painting in there. And there's like a little hack I like to do. I like to take the little leopard vase because I feel like it's really preppy. And I put a different flower inside of it. 
But yeah, if you like the preppy style in Choco World, then I would definitely do that. And I just love preppy stuff in Choco World. It's so pretty. And definitely like the top aesthetic out there. You know? <laughs> So here's another thing I really like to do. I like to remove all the pictures from that little board and I like to take that little camera and put custom pictures because I feel like they look so much better. And I'm pretty sure it's from the Romantic Beach House pack and it's literally gorgeous. And another way to fill up like random space in your house is to add a lot of pillows. That's what I like to do just to, like fill up space. So, as you guys can see here, I'm just putting a bunch of these little pillows down and just making like a little cozy area by the alarm. Now in the backyard, it's kind of hard to do the backyard for me. I'm not a big fan of this part, but you know, it doesn't matter. I like to put rocks down and like make a little pathway. I think that's a good hack for you guys to do. It's not really a hack, but like, like a build idea. And I always put bushes because it adds a lot more to your house. Now I'm upstairs, I'm pretty sure this is the last room that I do a tutorial in, but this is gonna be um, Star's room. Now my world did reset if y'all are unaware, but yeah, it's, it's gone. I have to rebuild my hotel and this house, so that's really fun and just annoying. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to rebuild all of it, but it's okay, it's fine. It gives me a new opportunity to make a better house. You know, always look at the bright side of things, guys. Don't always look at the negative. Like, ugh, my house reset. Like, how about you look at it like, I can make a new, better house. You know? It might take some time, but, you know, it's okay. Anyways, so now I'm just finishing off with her room. I put a TV. Now, another thing I like to do to be a better builder is, like, get ideas off TikTok. Um... I usually steal, well not steal, but I usually copy like people that do the cluttered houses and not like the aesthetic house people because honestly, no shade, but all their houses look the same. So I use like the cluttered house people because they have more build hacks and more cool ideas. But um, you know, everyone is different, do whatever you want, but I like to steal from the people that do more cluttered builds. With credits, of course. I don't just steal it and not, like, tell people that I'm using their stuff, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I like to do. And I hope this tutorial helped you somewhat because I want y'all to be better builders. You know, people are always asking me, like, how do you build so good? Like, girl, I don't build good. I just put random stuff down and call it a day, honestly. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and stop this voiceover and I'll see y'all with another video. Bye!